found him guilty of sexual contact. Abuse. Also, they did not prosecute him for that. They did not find him guilty of the actual the actual legal definition of rape he was not convicted of the legal def definition of rape in that case he was he was convicted of sexual assault but not rape mm -hmm. sexual assault and assault. abuse uh, because sexual sexual assault I, I mean i would need to look at what the statute says in new york because i know in illinois i'm sorry I'm saying it, it, there was a distinction. He was not convicted of. That's what the young man is saying. He was not convicted of rape. He was con, he was he was found guilty of uh, 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 that what they call sexual contact. If that if that's yes. what I. But they, but not what they they actually made a difference and said that uh, uh, what they they actually had a sexual rape is involves uh, what they called you know uh, intercourse and, and they said. I guess they couldn't find him guilty of that, probably without DNA. But a defamation, the the, the finding or the the legal, the financial liability liability came from the two charges, which was the sexual contact and the lie and the libel against her character. So what what was it in terms of the sexual? See, I I I, I haven't uh, I haven't. Uh, read all of the information because i know in illinois in illinois sexual abuse and sexual assault uh go to the definition of sexual penetration that's how it is in illinois i'm not sure how that how it is uh how the statute reads in new york and um and and because a lot of times you know one state uh, would have the statue reading one way, another state has it reading a different way. Yeah, I was that I was responding to the young man, uh, I think, as he was saying, he, yeah, he, like you said, they keep saying he was not convicted of rape. That is actually true. Okay, that right. is true. But he was convicted of, they found him liable for sex, some sexual abuse. I just want to say that. Okay. And you have to read so do you have any other comments you'd like to make about the findings that you found with uh on trump no. okay so let's let's talk about um <laughs> let's just talk about how as uh people of color the uh the way the laws are made here in the state of illinois it always seems like we uh, get the we don't get the right legal treatment. Now, was that lady an African American? I no, she was white. She was white. Okay, so then I can't say that. I was thinking that that. that they gave that binding because she was an African American, but that's not true. Okay. So, okay, let's go on and, and talk about some of the other injustices that occur here in the state of Illinois. Now, the floor is open, uh, young folks. Let's talk about um, some of the injustices you have seen. Let me get this back to you. Okay, you guys can share. Uh, Anthony, Jerry, Madeline, Margo, haven't heard from you. Let's talk about some of the injustices that occur here in the state of Illinois. Well, you know, I um, I used to work, uh, I worked with pregnant women and newborn babies. And, and there for many, many years, there was, it was told to the women that if you are being attacked, one of the best things to try not to do is scream. Because if you scream, a lot of people have gotten their necks cut. A lot of people have died. Sometimes the person that's uh, doing the attack on a female or a male, because they, they rape males as well. And if you scream, it tends to take that person into another arena. And it's almost like they're holding themselves so that they don't die. You know, that the person don't go and it doesn't escalate. And if you can just survive it, 
because women have been stabbed repeatedly for screaming. So a lot of times women are, have been taught, if we can just get past this and, and save your life, you got children, you got so much to live for, even like as an example, my mother, I was sitting here while you all were talking. My mother was raped in a bed with my baby brother in the bed with her. And my baby brother, brother wasn't, but I think he was four. He remembered a whole entire thing. He remember locking his eyes into my mother's eyes while the man was raping her in the bed. And he had a bloody towel and he, she, and he said, if you move, I'm going to kill all of your children in here. So my mother did not scream. So I'm here to say that those are the reasons. And, you know, sometimes the process when I hear stuff like that or uh, have come in contact with somebody physically uh, or women putting themselves in positions or places where they didn't think nobody was going to rape them. And they ended up at somebody's some boy's house or their basement or a garage or something like that. The safe thing for them to do was is not to scream. Because, you know, if it, if it was in a department store, I would have screamed because it would have been people out there. If I didn't see a gun, if I didn't see a knife, I mean, he could have choked her to death. So, you know, you got all of these variables. So I think that's the reason why. And then sometimes when you have men, lawyers going up against female lawyers, I mean, a man, how, many, how many men have been raped? That's a lawyer. What the hell do they know? How do they feel? You know what I'm saying? Why do you why do you scream? Well, who raped you? And what did you say? So I just wish for the best for everybody. Okay, uh, comments. No comments. Okay, um, well, we're, we're nearing the close of the show. I would like to hear more from uh, Jerry, uh, the tax doctor, Madden. Let's, let's give these young folks something to think about in terms of how they should respond in the event that something occurs to them that is inappropriate uh, against the law. How should they respond? I think the injustice in terms of females and I have a grandson that's, that's playing that's playing football at Arizona State University. And there's a lot of things that's going on. One of the things that I heard, I can't remember who it was, but they said, just keep fighting. Just keep fighting the injustice and stay motivated as opposed to getting so, you know, so many heartbreaking things happen and people drop the ball. But I would tell a young lady, keep on studying, keep engaging other people. The more uh, people get involved, the more knowledge young people are, and they're coming out, they're very intelligent, and they're walking through and they're learning a lot. So keep on fighting. Don't drop the ball. Keep going. Can I have each of you just give a closing statement, your name, uh, just tell us, you know, how you feel about the topic you spoke about was global warming. Just tell us what your recommendation would be for for us to look for in the in, in future for global warming. You with the women with the making more money or making less money than men in the games. Uh, and you with Trump, just give us a closing statement. We're about to close the show. And I'd just like the other people to know who you are, what school you're in, what grade you're in, and uh, whether you think this is a good way for you to share information. Do you think this is a good way for you to get your point across? Any comments? So, what I have to say for global warming, you have to take it, you know, everyone, like literally, literally everyone has to take it more seriously because not only, not only is this like affecting like small parts of the earth, but it's going, it, it literally will take, it literally will take um, effects like onto like the entire earth, all right? And so you have to take it more seriously, all right? And actually do your part as a human being to just make sure the earth doesn't get to that state because we are kind of getting close to that. Kind of definitely getting close to that. So we need to like 
That's, that's kind of scary. He made that kind of scary. Global warming. Ooh, remember when the vice president was talking about global warming? And he warned us about global warming. And like you said, I guess we didn't pay a, a lot of attention to it. So now we have melting ice caps and all kind of weather changes, etc., etc. Yeah. And and like you can you can still do small things to just like change how you use electricity and just how you and make gases and stuff. Just you can change that, okay. but it's also up to like factors and stuff as well. It's like it matters like how much like CO, oh, like CO two yeah. gets into like the earth, like I'm sorry, into like the earth's atmosphere, earth's atmosphere. So you have to really pay attention to that stuff. Thank you, thank you, young lady. Give us your closing statement. Um, my closing statement about uh, the whole basketball thing with females and males it's just that us females have to work together and strive and to just better off fight for what we really want yes now she just made me just put my arm up and say yeah 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 talk to me yes sir give us your closing statement my closest statement on um, Trump is yes. it was a whole messy situation that should never happen. But um, although the whole situation did happen, um, he did somewhat get what he deserved. And she also got what she wanted, I guess, out of that whole situation. And it was it was like a it was like a, a whole you think it was a win win situation? I, I guess I don't know. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I thank you. yes sir. I wanna say something I wanna say something about what like what you did as well. Is that like this is a huge this is a like wonderful example of like not to use your power over people. You know, it's like that because using your power over people just like comes like out of pride. It, it can literally just like so just do not do that. Do, do not, not do that. Do not. do not do that. You hear that folks? Don't use your power over people because you might not get the result you expect. Might be something else. Any closing statements from the audience? Yeah, let let me before we go, let me ask the young lady a question. It was two, it was two young ladies and two young men at the scene of the crime where the police officer got shot. She was 24 years of age and helped me try to understand the mind of some of you young ladies. Why will you, some of you young ladies, hang out with bad boys? It's an interesting question. Did you did you comprehend that young lady? Hey, the lady. Re repeat it for her again. There was two young ladies and two young men, teenagers, that went on a crime spree early yesterday morning. And when they saw the young lady by herself, they decided to rob her. And one of the young men got out, shot her. Okay, so the two women, young ladies that's with them are going to be tried as adults. The 16-year-old boy is going to be tried as an adult. So my question to you, young lady, what is it about some of our young women who hang out with bad boys, who get caught up in that environment? What makes young women hang out with That's another topic that I text up to. Might be. <laughs> Why they hang out? It's another topic. I think this happened for one because they're young. They still learning and still trying to figure things out. But um not a crime like that. Also, they might still be scared fine. too. If you hanging out with somebody and you know they're doing bad stuff, you might like some stuff about them and you might be trying to get them out of that certain position, but you also might be scared for them, trying to change the change their ways. 
so they could change the things that they do. Oh, yeah. okay. oh my God. Good question, good answer. Yeah. Very good answer. I, I, I have a comment. I have a comment. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we all have choices in life to make about who we hang out with. And I personally, I was never one to hang out with any what you would say were bad boys, mm -hmm. gang bangers or any of that kind of stuff. Not more. No, ma no ma'am, no sir. Because you, we are known by the company we keep. Yes. And if you were hanging out with some riffraff, that is capable of doing what those guys did to that woman that says your sense of morality is in the gutter. Yes. Your, your sense of your value set is in the gutter. So why the hell would somebody want to hang out with somebody like that? That's a loser. And you know what's going to happen to those women along with those guys? They're going to be charged under the Accountability Act and their butts are going to end up in prison for a, a long, long, long time. time. Because okay. they the accountability. Guy. I'm sorry. They hung out with the wrong guy. What was that? Everybody. Yeah, well, when you get because they they're going to be charged under the accountability act. The accountability act, of course, means that you get charged as though you committed the crime. Yep. Okay, so so they're going to end up in prison. I guarantee you, they will end up in prison for we'll start at twenty five years, thirty years, and climbing. Okay. Well, you first. That's what's going to excuse happen. Excuse me. Excuse yes. me. Yes, a, lo a lot of times, a lot of times we 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 say these young ladies, but first of all, we have to know where they came from because you can come out of the environment. And you are just as equal to the young men in your decision that you made because you came, you went. That means it's a possibility that their history prior to this incident, they were involved in some other things. So we can't just put it on the men. Those young ladies probably are just as much responsible as those men because a split decision went somewhere and they were with them all day long. I come out of a gang infested environment. And I chose not to go at certain places because I knew better. But yeah. those decisions are not based on those young men unless those young men had guns up to their head. Yeah. So and we'll find we'll find out we'll we'll find out as the trial go on. But a exactly. lot of times, girl, a lot of times girls are not so doggone innocent. And, and that's why I said, and that's why I said their sense. Yeah, that's why I was talking about their sense of morality. Their values, okay, those girls, their values, their, you know, who they're hanging out with, that who you hang out with, it says a lot about who you think, who you are as a person. What do you think of yourself? Yeah, because if you if you got that, if that's the, look at all the women prisoners all over the United States. Look at Dwight. Come on. Absolutely. Can I add a little bit to that? And I'm also a producer up here at the center along with Wanda. And I like to give my take on that because I see sometimes my kids doing something as well as when I was a little younger, me as a young man, uh, doing well, a nice job and nice everything. And when going to clubs, especially some of our minority type clubs, I also saw a lot of the women looking for people that had flashy stuff and cars and all of those type of things. And if I was just a guy with a job, they would, I could not approach them unless I had gold chains and this, that, and the other on. And a lot of times when girls look for those guys and they want to get money and get money in a fast way and everything, they are subject to be in a car or in a situation with guys and then they're going to do some crazy stuff. And because they're with them and they know a little bit too much, they're going to get caught up in the same thing those drug dealing guys wind up doing. If you go to some of the strip bars even, they're going to go to the guys that's going to make it rain. They're going to go to the after parties with the guys that's making it rain. Mm -hmm. And when they go into environments like that, the only way that these guys are making it rain is sticking people up 
and taking their money and what doesn't belong to them. Even my daughter got caught up with a case because I tried to tell her, don't go around these drug dealing guys and don't do this and don't do that. And some of these uh, guys let them hold their drugs in their possessions because they don't want to get caught with it. But when the young lady or somebody else gets caught with the drugs, they go to jail, not the guy in the real criminal. We just had a young guy come through earlier that said uh, he wanted to get out of uh, 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 the environment that he was in because he had, couldn't have been no more than 10, 11 years old. And I'm like, well, what kind of environment are you in? Uh, when I'm making money, I got customers. I make fast stuff. I don't want to do that. Customers? Customers. What do oh you do? God. And I have to pry into that. What do you do that you, I need to make some honest money. I need to do something you other than what I'm doing. Drugs. And I'm like, what are you doing? And once you really pry into it, selling cocaine, selling different stuff, and taking on those responsibilities as a minor under 12, shouldn't be around certain things like that. But some older guys, force these young guys, and other things and peer pressure on them around the street to go and do certain things. That's why you find a lot of our 15, 16 year olds, minors, doing adult criminal behavior because they know they may not get the same charges. And then actual criminals get away with it and do stuff. Even some of the guys that's robbing and stealing cars, what are they? 15, 16, 17. Did they go to steal a car? Run and grab the drugs or jewelry or whatever. <coughs> give it out to somebody that's a little bit older than them that really go and do all the, the other damage. So a lot of times they get caught up by circumstances. And a lot of the women, like you said, they want to see the guys do better, hoping and praying. And that's the only thing they're looking to in their communities. So we have to change the way our, we, we look, especially our women, look at our young men and how they have to uh, survive and make a living. And by there not being so many job opportunities available for young men, they're only going and, and, and changing and building and adapting to the environment. So they, they didn't rob, kill, and destroy most of the black neighborhoods. The only place they got to go is to the Gold Coast, up north, wherever their soft targets at. Because if they're going to be heavy on crime and they're all in the black neighborhoods, if they go to some other neighborhoods, it's not as uh, many police uh, uh, presentation. Uh, there's not as many speed lights and speed cameras. It's all in the black neighborhoods. So that that uh, system that they created is actually turned around on the governmental uh, things that put those uh, uh, things in place for our people. So we have to talk about how to prevent some of the crimes and how to create opportunities for these young people that when they're 11, 12, they see other opportunities and other ways to create and make income and going to the local uh, person on the street that, that they think is going to be their friend and actually winds up uh, either pimping them, their, their minds or their bodies and creating uh, uh, an environment that actually harms us all. Okay, and that's why it's one good thing that we talk to young individuals to see what they're raised in and what their mindset is when they're 10, 11, 12 years old and the peer pressure that they're on. Okay? And then we as adults or the community have to find ways that we can partner up with law enforcement, the mayor, the elected officials, so that they, they can do something about this. So this is something that isn't going to change because it took years for this type of energy and stereotypes to uh, come on play. But I just know as I was a young man, the ladies always went to the guy with the flashy chain and this and that. So they thought that was a way for them to come up. They was going to get some money to ride in the cars and the flashy cars. And usually they had stolen or they got this all with drugs. And that puts them in knowing too much or whatever, they have to get rid of some of those people. You know what I'm Even the young lady, the folks, she may know a lot. Know about a lot of kids. Know about some people that uh, want to get rid of certain people off the block since they were law enforcement and they just retired. Not knowing that they were going to get, you know, a SWAT team because they know right who it is. They don't look for them. I know little Johnny down the street, you know, did this to me because I cuss him out every week. <laughs> you follow? And those things happen. 
and they just happen to be girls or something like that, they happen to be with their little boyfriends or whatever, not knowing that they was going to do some of the crazy stuff that they wound up doing and got caught up in the, in the trial. Thank you, George, and thank you, young men and women. I really appreciate all your input. Thank you, Madeline, tax doctor, Dr. Jackson, everybody who participated this evening. I hope that you all learned something. I surely did, and thank you for doing the investigation that you all did. We'll see you again tomorrow night at the Woman to Woman Show. Thank you all for joining us this evening, and everyone have a good night. Thank you.